To graph a linear inequality in two variables, the first thing we want to do is to graph the boundary line. This can be done by graphing it by its intercepts, as we will take a look here. So to establish that boundary line by finding intercepts, let's start with by finding the x-intercept. To do that, we let y equal 0, and in the inequality, we replace y with 0, solving for x by adding 1 to both sides and dividing both sides by 2, we find that x is equal to 1 half when y is 0, and we plot the point. We have our x-intercept. Moving on then to find the y-intercept, we let x equal 0, replacing x with 0 in our equation and simplifying leaves us with y equal negative 1. Point-wise, we would have the coordinate 0, negative 1, which is plotted there. Next, since this is a less than or equal to, our line is included in the solution because of this equal. So any point on the line is part of the solution, and to indicate that, we draw our boundary line as a solid line. Next, then, we need to determine which half of the plane provides the solutions to this inequality, the points that will make a true statement. To do that, it's helpful often to have y by itself. In other words, we're transforming this linear equation into slope-intercept form. And we're looking for y values that are less than this line. So here's our boundary line. The y values are smaller below the line if we look at the y-axis. So we need to pick a test point, and we will pick a test point from this right-hand or lower side of our boundary line and replace those values in our inequality to see if, in fact, it does give us a true statement. So in place of x, we put a 3, and in place of y, we put 3. Simplifying by multiplying first, simplifying on the left, 3 minus 6 leaves a negative 3, which is less than or equal to negative 1. Because it is evidence that we have a true statement, we will shade the right side indicating all points to the right of our boundary line, including the boundary line, provide an infinite number of points that satisfy this linear inequality.